Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is the second of my Legendary Law Sector video series. This is the quarry slate. It's quite a bit different to the first one. Now most of us will know the Law Sectors, but the introductions to champions and the increased power level really, really do make it a challenge. The quarry is, obviously it's the second one I've done, but this was quite a bit more challenging than the first one. Simply due to the boss room has two barrier champions in it. Pretty, pretty tough. So I'm going to bring up the weapons I'm using and the armor I'm using. As you can see, this is Rasputin and this is how you access the Legendary Lost Sector. It changes on reset each day. So the loadout is pretty similar to what I used for the first one. Ch uh, different heavy, but we're still using Ostringer with Unstoppable. We're still using Ariana with the Catalyst, but now I'm using Love and Death. And that's because we don't have any Arc Shields. Match game is an intrinsic modifier on the legendary lost sectors. Heavy ammo, special ammo finder, special ammo scavenger, usual usual stuff for this type of thing. Any other mod you want to use, I would use. So we kind of are just gonna clear everything from range. I did I was gonna just let this video play out. These lost sectors the are quite short, so it's kinda hard to fit everything in commentary wise but as you can see i've decided to commentate because i don't want to leave you guys to go through this on your own what a nice guy not really <laughs> people just people don't seem to like it when i don't commentate so anyway from that doorway i take out as many of the red bars as i can and i push down and and, and i'm not there is an unstoppable there's a unstoppable champion as you can see here i'm using ariana just to one hit a couple of these ads we're also going to get dogs, so I'm looking for the dogs. There's still a still a le legionary up. You'll see the dogs come from that cave just to the left. As soon as all the the normal ads are down, there there you can see the dogs coming. So I'm trying to kind of preempt the dogs coming, but they get up, so the unstoppable starts to push. The unstoppable in this instance, he, I, I, I maybe done this about three or four times just to find the right strategy because the boss room is, it's kind of strange because it's so tight. There's not a lot of room for maneuver in there. This was the first time he pushed up here, but it also was the first time I took a dog out straight away. So for anybody that doesn't know or doesn't remember or hasn't seen my videos before, I kind of have a specific way of taking out champions. I use Ariana as more than just a barrier champion thing. What I do is, because I've got the catalyst, I uh, I fire my unstoppable shot. Then I'll switch to Ariana's, put, put a heap of damage just like this. But then when I store Ariana's and take out my hand cannon, because you can't hit another unstoppable shot straight away, I wait for Ariana's to reload and you get an audio cue. That lets me know as well that I can fire another unstoppable shot. So... It's it's not it's not a big thing, but it's just something to to pay, you know, pay attention to. So as you, nothing really here, just a couple of red bar ads. Next room, you've got another unstoppable, but right at the start, you're going to have a few ads. What I do is I charge a grenade. Now, if you're doing this on a Titan or a Hunter, you've still got pretty strong grenades. In fact, I think the Titan's going to benefit from the arc grenade uh, buffs. And the stuff from the artifact. I always put a grenade at the far ads because I can shoot the close ads. And it just takes care of the, the ads that are further away. Now we've got to push down a little bit because the unstoppable will be up will be up to our right. So I stop them and then I just make sure I put some good damage on them and then I move back because now you're gonna get the next wave coming. So I charge a grenade, just throw it at the back as far back as I can. That gladiator, now as you can see, the gladiator didn't cause me any hassle because I was aware and I moved away. As long as you do that, you'll be fine. Gladiator will go and stand up right. So I just scare him with one of those shots and kill him with another one. Now we're at the boss room. Now the boss room, there's two barrier champions in here and the boss and some ads and it's not a big room. Now the barrier champions come out, they stagger at different times. So you have some time to take out the little ads that are here. So what we're going to do is we're just having a little look about. As you can see, there's a couple of snipers. 
There are snipers up on the left hand kind of platform. I'm using that where I'm where I am now, I'm using this as a base of operations. This rock right in front of us is gonna be very helpful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give give that barrier champion a sh a shot to entice him over to us, take out the take out the scion. Now the barrier champion, see how the barrier champion's pushed round? Got a shot off. There is a there's still a sniper. Take the sniper. I'm gonna put down my my rift. Still using this rock. And I'm gonna try and get some shots off on the grenade launcher. The reason why I switched to the grenade launcher to do do my dirty work for me, if you like, is because I was waiting for Ariana to reload. As soon as Ariana reloads, I can go back after the barrier. And there you go, there's the first barrier champion done. The second one isn't going to come out until you've done about half damage to the, the boss. So I'm just going to grab this special. You've got a bit of room around the back of this ship to manoeuvre, but if the champions are out and the boss is firing at you, especially since this is a, a thousand power, it's just not worth chancing it. So I'm just going to get ammo, and as you can see, I'm not I'm not trying to push it too much. Try to keep good cover between me and the boss and I just want to put some damage I do not want I don't want to get into a situation where I'm using too much special I just want to keep his shield off him as well as you can see he moves a, a ton and now I'm going to know over him that will bring out the second champion so I'm right back to my rock using the rock again Exactly the same way, and the champion, as you can see, in a two seconds, the champion will come from up top. So I'll just put that grenade over onto the boss, which will bring the cha that should bring the champion and the ads out. I put down my there he is. Now I'm just gonna really quickly try and put some. I'm not too bored who it hits, whether it's him or the boss. And there we go. Now it's just us and the boss. So you can basically follow the boss around. I'm, I'm a able to be a little bit more aggressive now. The boss will take up his second position. He's up on top of this ridge up here. So I'm just going to go up and get some heavy ammo. I see special over to my right. And literally I'm just going to be taking pot shots. I've got all the time in the world. There's no other ads here. When he goes airborne like that, his shot is really, really tough. It's really strong. So do your best not to stand and tank shots off him because you won't be able to, even if he's got no health left. And that's the rest of the run, guys. I hope this helps you guys beat this. I hope it, I hope you've enjoyed the run and maybe learnt something from it. Take it easy, guys. I will let you watch me kill the boss here. And I will see you guys in the next video.